For those of you who are taking grammar in context two, today on May 6th, we're going to continue building on the interview. In fact, we're going to now focus on the results of the interview. On Monday and Tuesday of this week, we prepared by looking at a guide to help assist some of the questions that you can ask to your interviewee related to education. And here we have a couple of videos that we looked at and uh, again, some uh, of the instructions that we looked at on Monday and Tuesday in preparation for the interview. Today on Wednesday, I'd like to take the results from the interview and ask that you go into this wiki in the virtual classroom that's called interview results. And the first time you enter into the page, you're going to be prompted to create a wiki. So you should see a page very much like this. You don't need to make any changes. All you need to do is click create page and you'll have your own wiki that you can use to work with for this exercise. Once your page has opened up, it should look something like this where you have different views. For a wiki, you basically have two main views. You have a view page, which is a published page. It's the page, what it looks like when it's uh, been completed. And it should look like this. It's just giving, give it a second here. Okay, and this is what the page looks like. Obviously, there's nothing at this point. Uh, but if you want to edit the wiki, then you can click edit. So it's basically going back and forth between the view or the published page versus the edit page, which is where you can add text or just information in general to your wiki page. Okay, so when you go about editing your document, there's a switch here that can provide more details to your rich text editor if you want more options uh, or icons here that you can use that you might be more familiar with. Here you can drag this down and open this up if uh, this makes it more comfortable in, uh, to edit. But basically here we want to pose our questions. So what I would do, you could do this in an outline form if you want. So you could start with bullet points or even numbers. And you could ask or pose the question, question number one, right? So here you would write out the question that you ask in the interview. Now you can decide how you want to organize your questions. If you want to present the questions here in this wiki in the order in which you presented the questions, or you can rearrange the questions however you want if it makes more sense to categorize or group certain questions together. But I think that the outline is a good option because you can nest the questions and the answers. So what I mean by that is, so you have, let's say you have one question here, question number one. You can then include the response or the responses, depending on how you want to include these. And let's say that you do a follow-up question based on one of these responses. So let's say this person asks a question. You have you you presented a follow-up question to one of these responses. You could have you could post the, another question here underneath this and have the response to this question. Okay, so I think again using an outline form is going to help us that way we can see which follow-up questions you presented, if any. Hopefully you did some, but perhaps it's possible that the responses that you received were sufficient enough to not require a follow-up question. But if you do have follow-up questions, I think it would be good to present them like this. Again, you can use bullet points, as I've done here, or you can use numbers if you wish. But again, you can decide how you want to organize, but you want to present the, pro the question. So the question that you asked this is the question that I would like for you to include here at this point. But this, uh, if we use a, um, an outline in this fashion, then we're, you can easily see the responses for each of the questions that you, that you asked. All right, so this is what I would like for us to work on today, working in our wiki in our virtual classroom. And uh, we'll also have our online session, of course, for any doubts or questions that you might have.